The goal of our next lesson on nitrogen metabolism from Chapter 18 is simply to provide a brief overview of amino acid biosynthesis. Let's first look at nitrogen metabolism in a larger context. As we'll see, most amino acids are synthesized from intermediates of glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. So in our figure here, we're starting with two and three carbon intermediates of glycolysis and the citric acid cycle, and we're going to use those to build amino acids. This would be an anabolic pathway. As we'll see later, amino acids are actually used to make nucleotides. There are non-essential amino acids that we can synthesize and essential amino acids that we cannot synthesize. Instead, we have to get those from our diet, from food. Here's a table from your book listing those amino acids that are essential on the left. Again, these we're unable to synthesize, and so our sources are plants or microbes in our gut. On the right are those that are non-essential. That is to say, not that we don't need these amino acids, but simply that if they are not supplied in our diet, we can make what we need. We'll find that most of the amine groups come from glutamate and glutamine. Remember, that's our initial way of assimilating nitrogen, as we covered in lecture last time. And as we see, some of those that are in our non-essential li list are actually synthesized from essentials. For instance, tyrosine is actually synthesized from phenylalanine, and cysteine depends on methionine. And so we might put quotes around non-essential, because some of these we can't actually make literally from scratch. We need a starting material that's still an essential amino acid. In this figure, we have illustrated the fact that the precursors for these amino acids are intermediates in glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and the pentose phosphate pathway. So on the left here, you can see that we can make spartate from oxaloacetate, and we can use aspartate to make other amino acids. Glutamate is synthesized from alpha-ketoglutarate, and from glutamate, again, we can make more amino acids. Serine comes from 3-phosphoglycerate and histidine from ribose 5-phosphate, the product of the pentose phosphate pathway. It's not important you memorize this slide or know the details. Please refer to the learning outcomes to know the information that you'll be held accountable for in this chapter. So in our next video lesson, we'll look at the synthesis of those non-essential amino acids and we'll see that we do use some amino acids to build others.